Hi friends, welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in the scholar series for APM. In this we are covering the objective, important objective questions, important theory, as well as the important numericals. So follow the series completely. Okay, let's start. First is sampling distribution. What is sampling distribution? You must understand that first. Sampling distribution is a process used in the statistical analysis in which the predetermined number of observations are taken from the larger population. Now, important word over here is predetermined number of observations. Remember this by heart. What happens? I must know how many samples I have to take. If I don't know that, then it will, it will be of no use for me doing some sampling. I'll go on doing the samples. Uh, how many numbers? I don't know. I'll take 500, then 1000, then 1 lakh. It won't end. So we must first decide where I have to stop. So predetermined number of observations are taken from the larger population. The methodology used to sample from a larger population depends on the type of analysis being performed. Now understand this. Methodology means what? Here it means what type of sampling should I do? There we come with the topics of these random sampling, all the various types of sampling. I'll take them. Okay. So got it. Firstly, the concept okay okay now for a few things you need to understand sampling now suppose if i tell you to take some tea okay i'll give you a cup of tea and ask you whether it's hot or not what will you do will you take the whole cup of tea and drink it immediately to check whether it's hot or not no what will you do you'll just take a sip of the tea sip right uh, hot so if that sip is hot, it means the whole cup is hot, right? The whole tea is hot. That's the basic logic of sampling. I'll select those samples which will be indicative of the full population. Suppose if this is a city of 1 lakh, okay? Complete 1 lakh. If I do the sampling of whole 1 lakh, it is called a census. Understand the word. Census means when I do the sampling of each and every person. But when I am doing sampling as such, sampling word, when I am doing the sampling or survey, there I will take the samples and I will do the survey of those samples. I won't do the survey of all, all the population. Okay. Got it? Simple. This is what the concept is here. You need to understand the concept first. Okay. Now look at this. Some important uh, uh, points over here. There are two parts. One is population and second is samples. Here, as I have showed, showed you over here, this full circle is known as the population. One lakh people. And the samples which I take are known as, these points are known as samples. So, this is the population as a whole and then we have sample. Now, what are the terminologies used for the population and the sample? Look at it. Okay. Definition of population collection of all items full population suppose one lakh persons as i told you over here one lakh is the population of a city so if i do the full population or survey of full population it will be called as what then it will be called as census and this is known as population so it includes collection of all items and here part of the population some part okay what are the characteristics well, suppose if i take the mean mode of population it is called as parameter suppose if i take the mean mode of sample it is called as statistic See here mean standard deviation of population is known as parameter mean standard deviation of uh, sample is known as statistic we have various other statistics and uh, these parameters mean mode median all these are parameters as well as the uh, statistics okay now how they are defined look at this size is always given as capital n is always for population small n is always for sample mean of population is shown as mu mu remember this is called as mu and mean of sample is always shown as x bar this you will see it when i'll take the problems okay there it's very important standard deviation is given as psi this is called as psi and here standard deviation is called as psi. But I'll tell you one more thing over here. Whenever I'm taking anything for the sample, it is generally called as standard error. Remember this. If I have standard deviation for population for my sample, I have standard error. Okay. 
and we generally write it. You will see this when I write, when I solve the numerical psi dash. Okay, psi dash. <coughs> okay. Now, what are bias samples? Bias means what? Here we always say, no, this person is biased. My boss is biased. This is a general statement given by us, right? Boss is biased towards some employees, right? You have seen this. Suppose the parliament is debating on the women's bill. You are asked to conduct an opinion survey. Because women are most affected by the women's bill, you will inter uh, you interviewed many women in different cities and towns and rural areas in this of India, rural areas of India. Then you report that the overwhelming 95% are in favor of the reservation of the women's bill. Now that is the bias sampling. If you ask only women about the women's bill, they will definitely support it. Generally, that's a tendency. Okay. So that's a basic bias sample. So in here, what I what do we mean to say is that the population should be equally divided. If you are asking for those who are in favor, you can you should also ask for those who are not in favor. Okay. Otherwise, it becomes a bias sample. Now look at this. This sampling is of generally three types. Three or two also we call it. Probability, purposive, and third is no rule sampling. Now, no rule is generally not asked in exam. Probability and purposive is asked many times. Purposive is also called as non-probability. It is also called as judgmental. See, I will write the words over here. Okay. It is non-probability also they call it non-probability. I will just write non-prop. Okay. And next one is judgmental. Judgmental. Okay. That is also the another name to purposive. Now, probability samplings are of four types, simple random, systematic, stratified and cluster. Now, we will study each one in detail, but before going ahead, I will just give you the short idea about this, simple random and all those. Okay. Understand one simple logic of probability. Probability sampling means that sampling in which every element has got an equal chance of getting selected, equal chance. Okay, so every every person, every individual, every sample will have equal chance. Now it is of four types. Suppose if I say in a class of fifty students, any ten students, that becomes simple random. If I say every fifth student, means what? I'll tell them to stand in the row. I don't know. I'll close my eyes. I won't tell who will stand where. I'll close my eyes and tell them stand in the row, and every fifth student come out. So that is all that is known as systematic. Suppose if I divide that class of 50 students into marks, those who have got 40 to 50 percent stand here, 50 to 60 stand here, 60 to 70 stand here, and so on. So that will be called as stratified. I am creating straight, I am creating levels over here. Okay. And last one is cluster. Suppose if I tell them those who are from Maharashtra stand here, those who are from Delhi stand here, those who are from Tamil Nadu stand here, those who are from this any state stand here. Okay, so this is generally cluster. Cluster is generally related to region. Okay, now one important point I will give you over here only stratified and cluster within the same strata they have similar qualities. Means what 70 to 80 percent student, the student who is having the range of 70 to 80 will think similarly, they will think similar to each other versus students who are having the marks 70 to 80 and the marks of 40 to 50. Their ranges will be different, thinking ability will be different. So that's the that's what is meant by stratified. 40 to 50 percent student will always think of passing, 80 to 90 will always think of scoring. So Within the same strata, they'll have similar qualities. Within different strata, different qualities. Reverse is the case with cluster. Within the same cluster, there's a huge variety. Now, somebody is from Goa. So, in Goa also, there will be a student of 80 to 90 percent. There will be a student of 40 to 50 percent, right? So, within the same cluster, there is huge variety. It's exactly opposite of, of this stratified. Within different clusters may have similar qualities. Different clusters may have similar means what? Goa will also have some student who is 40 to 50 and MP will also have some students who is 40 to 50. UP will also have that, right? So within different clusters, we may have the students of similar categories. 
that's what is the difference between stratified and cluster this question comes every time in the exam okay now more about this non probability see this i'll tell you later also i am having a separate slide on this convenient sampling consecutive sampling quota sampling purposive sampling or judgmental and snowball sampling i'll give you a separate slide on this uh, now only okay and then we'll study each one now simple random we'll go in details now for probability because that's very important simple random sampling selects the samples by by methods that allow each possible sample to have an equal probability of being picked and each item in the entire population to be included means what each uh, prob each possible sample to have of having equal probability means what just now i told you any 10 students from the class of 100 students any 10 so everyone has got the chance so that's what is meant by simple random sampling each possible sample see this each possible sample will have equal chance very important part over here okay i'll mark this hold on each possible sample this one has an equal probability of being picked okay and each item in the entire population to be included in the sample correct now let's look at this for simple random sampling suppose if i give you this example there are four teenagers a b c d any boys you anyone anyone we can consider now i have to select a group of two how will i select Group of two can be selected in these ways: A, B, A, C, A, D, B, C, B, D, and C, D. This is the only way which I can select, right? This you have a you are having a separate uh, topic of probability. There we'll study this again. Okay, so these are the groups I have selected. Now the question over here is: probability of drawing two these samples of two peoples is same as below. So means what? suppose if the probability of selecting any two this bc or bd or ac i close my eyes and i tell them to stand in these groups and what happens i close my eyes and select any group then what is the chance suppose if i want to select bc out of these six bc can be selected in only one way so look at this probability of bc is 1 by 6 similarly others cd can be selected in only one way so if you want to select the group the probability is 1 by 6 now look at this this is separate suppose if in this group i make them to stand in group of twos and what is the probability that i'll select a in this any group which i select what is the probability that i'll select a single person now look at this a can be selected in how many ways ab ac ad in all these a is there so a can be selected in three ways right 1 2 and 3 three groups out of how many so 3 divided by 6 now look at this very important part this is the this becomes a technical part okay so a can be selected in three ways three ways upon total 6 so 3 upon 6 is 1 by 2 so here comes the answer of 1 by 2 this is the this typically is related to probability required upon sample size in success i'll write it over here probability is formula is like this success upon sample size ss okay we'll study this when we study probability if you want to write a b c or d of uh, on four identical slips of paper now here comes the next topic of this within the same random sampling only the next topic which comes is sampling without replacement and with replacement now this you common sense you can understand it without means what i'll take four papers four chits a b c and d okay and a uh, slip of papers fold the papers randomly pick any two suppose if i select any two and then what do i do while picking up two slips we may pick one by one and keep it away pick another from the remaining three now remaining three what does it mean once i pick one i won't keep it again so that's known as without replacement and the second thing is with replacement suppose if i pick this slip d okay see the name in this and again put it inside that same jar so then it will be called as what with replacement don't we have this we have seen this many times right 
with and without whenever i take any slip i don't put it back in that uh, that box or whatever it is right so that is without and this is with we use the uh, term infinite population now because this infinite population term is asked in the exam when we are talking of a, about a population that could not be enumerated in reasonable time time period now what do you mean by this infinite means what do you mean by infinite suppose if i say 1 lakh population even i can call that also infinite i say 1 crore population i can call that also infinite although it is countable infinite what is the real meaning of infinite which cannot be counted but if i say one i tell you okay tomorrow i'll tell you you go and count the entire population of the city wherever you live is it possible that becomes infinite for you within reasonable period of time okay so it it can it cannot be determined within reasonable period of time right thus we use theoretical concept of infinite population as an approximation of a large finite population approximation of large finite got it if my population is too used to be done in a survey so okay i'll give you one more example in this i'll tell you what do you do you do the survey of 1 lakh people in 2 uh, days so 1 lakh people in 2 days survey go and ask each one it's not possible that's a reasonable period so that becomes an infinite population for that 1 lakh people for that 2 days but if i ask you the separate question now same 1 lakh population i'll tell you to do the, do the survey in let's say 10 years 1 lakh in 10 years then it doesn't become a infinite population because there the time period is huge that's the logic okay so there is nothing called as absolute infinite or finite over here okay systematic sampling in the systematic sampling elements are selected from the population at a consistent level that is measured in time order or space now consistent level what do you mean by this just now i told you when i gave you that uh, separate uh, this slide i showed you every fifth student in the class of 60 students every fifth student will stand in a row and every fifth student will come out so that's known as systematic sampling so consistent okay systematic sampling differs from simple random sampling that in in each element in in that each element has equal chance of being selected but each sample does not have an equal chance of being selected now in this is a problem with systematic and this question comes in exam as a complete the following for one mark systematic sampling differs from simple random sampling that each element has got an equal chance because i don't know which element will stand on the fifth of this uh, uh, means whenever i tell them to stand in the row who will be standing fifth i don't know so that that means each element has got an equal chance but each sample does not have because the one who will be standing fourth he will not get selected so each sample does not have an equal chance in systematic sampling in systematic sampling there is a probability of introducing an error into the sampling process the system chosen may cause a problem now these are all the complete the following questions or match the following questions they will give you systematic sampling then on the other side they will give you the probability of introducing an error this is what is an important part in the system uh, systematic sampling remember this from the match the following or theoretical part part okay advantage this method may require less time and sometimes results in lower cost than simple random sample method right because systematic sampling obviously we are not telling all the 60 uh, students to stand and uh, select randomly we are telling every 10th or every 5th so it means it will give me a fair chance and it will be fast over here okay stratified sampling to use stratified sampling we divide the population into relatively homogeneous groups called as strata now what do you mean by this homogeneous when we divided those students 40 to 50% 50 to 60% right we did it just now 40 to 50 50 to 60 so what were we doing what did i tell you at that time suppose somebody has got a percentage of 40 to 50 they will think in the similar way 
but the one who has got a percentage between 90 to 100 the thinking of these two persons these two groups will be totally different different but within the groups they will always think similar so this is known as homogeneous thus when we use the fall uh, then we use the following of the two approaches so first we will divide them into separate strata then either we select at random uh, at random from each stratum a specified number of elements means specified means what i may tell that from 90 to 10, 100 we will select 5 students from 40 to 50 we will select 10 students so i might have already decided that's why come back to the first definition of that uh, sampling distribution predetermined okay I told, I'll say 90 to 100, I want 5 students. 40 to 50, I want 6 students. 50 to, 6, uh, 50 to 60, I want 10 students. It will be determination from my side. That is one way out. And second way out is, we draw equal number of elements from each stratum and give a weight uh, to the results according to the stratum's proportion in the total population. Okay. So, EM, I can draw specified number from each separate group or I can draw equal number. Every group, 40 to 55, 50 to 65, 60 to 75 and so on. So, equal number or specified number. When do you use stratified sampling? When do you use this? Stratified sampling is used, uh, is an appropriate when the population is already divided in, into different sizes. Means already I have divided 40 to 50 percent marks, 50 to 60 I have divided. Then stratified sampling is useful. Okay. Example, middle class, upper class, lower middle class. So, I have divided this already. So, then stratified sampling is uh, of use. According to age, race, gender or any other st uh, stratification, age groups may be 13 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40 and so on. Right? The advantages of stratified sampling are that when they are properly designed, they more accurately reflect the characteristic of the population from which they are chosen than any other kind of sample. So basically it, it is correct. Suppose if I choose 20 to 30 age group, so that thinking will give me the correct picture. Suppose if I want to design a jeans, okay, jeans pant. So which group thinks in what way? For that I have to divide it into various age groups and then I will get the real answer so that is that there the stratified sampling will be of best use cluster we divide the population into groups or clusters and then select a random sample of these clusters so first we'll divide them into uh, these groups or clusters what did i say earlier it is similar to that of that regional geography based goa mp up we assume that these individual clusters are representative of the population as a whole. Now, how do we do this? Now, this again, you'll get this. What did I say earlier? Goa, MP, UP. We take a city map and divide the territory into blocks, right? So, instead of city, I can take India map complete and divide it into various states. So, it means again, we are coming to geographical distribution and then choose a certain number of blocks for interviewing. Out of this, I'll choose which state should I interview the best or which area should I interview the best. Every household in each of these blocks would be interviewed, right? Comparison of stratified and cluster. Already I've given you. We use stratified sampling when each group has a small variation within, it, within itself, right? Stratified, 40 to 50 percent, 50 to 60, 60 to 70. But there is a wide variation between the groups, right? 42 percent thinking, 40 to 50 thinking differently than 80 to 90, right? We use cluster sampling in the opposite case. When there is considerable variation within the group, Goa, MP, UP, but groups are essentially similar. Means in Goa also I am having 80 to 90 percent, in UP also I am having, in Tamil Nadu also I am having everywhere, right? Basis of statistical inter inter inference. Simple random sampling, systematic sampling, uh, sample, systematic sampling and stratified sampling and cluster sampling. So basically systematic, stratified and cluster sampling. Okay. Attempt to approximate simple random sampling. So understand this concept. This concept is, let me cancel this. This part is a heading. 
ਪਗਿਆ ਸੋ ਸਿਸਟੈਮੈਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਸਟਰ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਅਟੈਂਪਟ ਟੂ ਅਪਰੋਕਸੀਮੇਟ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਰੈਂਡਮ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਇਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਸਕ ਯੂ ਸਿਸਟੈਮੈਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਟੀਫਾਈਡ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਕਲਸਟਰ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਵਿਲ ਅਟੈਂਪਟ ਟੂ ਅਪਰੋਕਸੀਮੇਟ ਡੈਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਰੈਂਡਮ ਸੈਂਪਲਿੰਗ ਰਿਮੈਂਬਰ ਥੀਸ ਆਰ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੈਕਟੀਕਲ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਆਸਕ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮ the process of making statistical inter- inferences is based on the principles of random sampling very importantly remember simple random sampling is the best sampling available in throughout the world all these systematic stratified cluster are taken later they are an approximation now i'll come to the second part this was all that probability now this is non probability so what is this let's see purposive sampling also known as judgmental selective or subjective sampling is a form of non probability sampling in which the researchers rely on their own judgment when choosing the num- members of the population to participate in the survey so this is all judgmental suppose we see on in that uh, what tv shows singing competition dancing competition what what naj bali hai right all that all those are there no? what do we see in that there are judges judges have their own judgment they are the learned person so in form of non probability sampling where the researchers rely on their own judgment own knowledge so this is judgmental sampling non probability sampling is a branch of sample selection that uses non random ways to select group of people to participate in the research non random ways okay it's based on the judgment simply completely on the judgment now some other sampling and these are also judgmental only snowball sampling is a non probability sampling method where new units are recruited by other units in form of uh, to form the part of the survey so this snowball is asked every time in the exam every time this is similar to that of mlm multi level marketing you know that na you say you do one person then that person will do three person those three will do again three goes on and on and on right so that is the same way where new units are recruited by other units to form the part of the sample second is convenience sampling convenience is the cheater cheater who is the cheater is a non probability sampling method where units are selected for inclusion on the sample because they are easiest for the researcher to access what do i mean by this suppose if you if you tell me to do the survey of 15 persons in the city 15 persons and what do i do i sit at my home hmm. on oh, who will go man who is near me neighbors bring all my 15 neighbors and my family members so that's convenience again okay? because they are easiest for the researcher to access quota is a non probability sampling method that relies on the non random selection of predetermined number of power proportion of units okay so non random selection of predetermined number predetermined quota means what mumbai 100 this delhi 100 uh, this uh, what up 100 so quota means what a quota is given to everywhere consecutive this is a sincere guy sincere this guy is a cheater convenience and this is a sincere guy is very similar to convenience sampling except it seeks to include all accessible subjects as a part of the sample which sometimes are considered as the best type of non probability sampling so he in this guy won't stay at home he will go to each and every accessible part 15 people i'll go to one corner then other corner then other corner and then i'll select the 15 samples from there so this is consecutive sincere guy okay so that's it about random sampling and the introduction the scholar series for apm and here we are covering all the important theory numericals objective questions case studies so follow the series till the end okay let's start let's start with the first objective question the type of cumulative frequency where the frequencies are added starting from the highest plus to the lowest plus are called as now look at this cumulative frequency starting from the highest to the lowest now what do i mean by this firstly what is cumulative frequency cumulative what is the word of uh, meaning of this word cumulative suppose if i write it like this let's say 10 then 20 sorry 
10 year 30 40 and i go on writing and now what is the cumulative figure cumulative means addition of all these before this number so suppose add a cumulation of 10 is 10 only cumulation of 20 over here is this 20 plus 10 30 cumulation of this is 30 plus 30 60 60 plus 40 100 so cumulative means addition of all these numbers before so this is cumulative now what do you mean by this it a question over here is when the frequencies are added from the highest class to the lowest class highest to the lowest means what suppose if i am having the what do you mean by the class word class actually the class means over here let's say uh, if i divide if i am having let's say these numbers only 10 20 30 40 okay now what will i do i divide this number in classes for example 0 to 10 then 10 to 20 something like this 20 to 30 and so on i go on arranging this so this is known as a class each one is a class and this difference is known as a class width remember this this is class width okay class width and this difference this is a class and this is known as a class width okay now what is the question where the frequencies are added starting from highest class to lowest class so what will i do when i arrange this i'll, I'll be arranging it accordingly here suppose we take only these three classes up till now okay 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 so if i want highest to lowest how will i arrange them i'll arrange them in this way 20 to 30 first then 10 to 20 next here highest to lowest i'm going 0 to 10 next okay this is the way i'm going so i'm going to on the lower side so this is known as what relative frequency percentage frequency less than or greater than cumulative frequency what is the answer everyone type in the comment section it is sure logically i'll tell you answer is between this c and d only less than and greater than so it is greater than correct it is greater than cumulative frequency got it greater than means whenever i am starting from the highest and going to the lowest see this is the highest and going to the lowest if i am taking the reverse route reverse route means lowest to highest then it is known as less than clear simple okay move ahead type yes in the comment section everyone type yes okay the following table gives less than uh, type frequency distribution of the income per day okay now what have you to do is this less than i think so less than type it should be greater than type okay forget it should be greater than because it is starting from the highest 1500 and it is going to the lowest okay so greater than type gp i'll write it okay the following table gives the gp type frequency of the income per day what is the income mode now the question is different let it be less than or greater than it, it doesn't matter it hardly matters question over here is what is the mode mode means what firstly understand what is the meaning of mode mode means here this is known as frequency frequency how many persons are having income of 1500 how many persons are having income of 1250 and so on okay what is the mode mode means that number which occurs maximum number of times maximum number of times this is known as the mode there are three words you'll face again and again one is mean mode and median okay these are the three words you'll face many times mean mode median okay so what is this mean mode median see mode is just now i told you number of times maximum number of times okay mean means what mean is average average okay and mode is what uh, median means what median means what i'll arrange these numbers in the serial order either ascending or descending arrange them there are two steps to median first is arrange them in serial order okay and then find the central number find central number find central number okay so this is known as median 
So these three important terms are there in statistics. I gave you this because why? Because here the point over here is this question is only on mode. But you guys must understand if it, if the exam question is on mean, mode, or median, anything, you must be able to answer it. Okay. So what did everyone? Mean is average, mode is max, and median is median is arrange the numbers first, and then find a central number. There are various methods to this. That I'll explain it in some other video. But the logical part is this. So now tell me, what is the mode? In this. Which one is the mode in this? Everyone. Which one is the mode in this? Which one is coming maximum number of times? This is the frequency. Which, ha which one has the maximum frequency is the mode. So which is having maximum frequency? 100. So which income class is having this uh, modal class? So this is 1500. So this is your answer. In exam, tick on that wherever 1500 is given. Clear, simple? Got it? Shall, uh, shall we move ahead? See, here, many questions of this sort are covered in our failed classes. In fact, failed classes, you take the review. All of them are most happy. Because the complete portion is covered over there. Numericals, objective questions, case studies, everything is covered. Okay. Everyone join, subscribe to Officers at the 24-7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates of on JIB and CIB, number one. Number two, now second thing, you will be getting the free YouTube series. How to join this? I will tell you later. Free YouTube series on all the subjects. Okay. So, subscribe to it. Click on the bell icon. Okay. The data of when some workers' salary are given as this, 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 whatever this is, 2300, 2400, 2500, you can read this data. If the desired number of class intervals is 10, 10, then the class width is. Now, how to find out the class width? Firstly, remember what is the class width? Class width means, suppose if I divide these numbers, in uh, let's say any suppose okay let me give you i give i gave you some example earlier 10 to 20 20 to 30 same one see this this one this one 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 same thing so same class width you have to find it over here how to find out the class width so here remember the formula for class width is i'll write cw class width equals to range upon number required number of intervals okay range upon number of intervals range upon number of intervals okay so number of intervals is what this you know already 10 but what is the range how to find out the range range equals to remember always remember range equals to maximum number minus minimum number maximum minus minimum what is maximum number over here? 2300, 2400, 2500, 21, 2000, 2000, 23, 28, 3000, 23, 27, 24, 25, 3000 is the maximum number. Isn't it? So 3000. What is the minimum number then? Give me everyone. Type in the comment section. Which is the minimum number now? Comment section. Everyone. Minimum number is? 2000 correct this is the lowest number so 2000 over here so range is what 2000 my 3000 minus 2000 so 1000 so what is my class width now so class width equals to 1000 upon 10 so that is equal to 100 so this is my answer class width is 100 okay what do you mean by class width what is the meaning of this word this 100 you have got it means what what have you got it means when I start arranging these numbers, I'll be arranging them like this, 2000 to 2100, lowest number and then go on adding 100, then 2100 to 2200 and so on. Okay, up to what? Last number, 3000. Okay, that last, it will be what? 2900 to 3000. This will be my last class, right? So this is the meaning of this width. Width means now you check the difference between each one. 22 minus 21, 100. 20, 3000 minus 29, 100. 21 minus 2000, 100. Okay. So width will always remain the same. So this is 100. Okay. 
the class intervals where upper and the lower limits are also included in the class interval are called as here upper and the lower limits are also included now what do you mean by this upper and the lower limits are included okay let me give you the logic over here uh, suppose there are these numbers okay how oh, let me start uh, 11 12 18, 19, then what? Let's say 23, 27. Let's say these numbers, 29. Okay. Now I have to arrange them in classes. I have to arrange these numbers in classes. So how will I arrange them? Here, let me start with simple one. Now I can arrange it this way also. 10 to 14. And there I'll write both inclusive. 10 also included and 14 also included. Okay. Let's say, let me add one number over here. That is, let's say 14. Okay. 14 over here. Okay. So, this is 10 to 14. Then, next one is 15 to 19. Both are included. 15 to 19. <coughs> next one is 20 to 24. Now, this class where both are included, upper limit also and lower limit also. This class is known as what? This is your question. Now, you'll say if this is included, what is the other one? The other one is exclusive. Here, what happens? Take 0.5 on this side, 0.5 on this side. So, it will be 9.5 to 14.5. Look at this, 14.5. 0.5 on the other side, 0.5 on the first side, right? Similarly, over here, this 14.5, 0.5 on the other side, okay? To 19.5. And next again 19.5 and so on. Right. So what I see over here in inclusive type, the lower limit of the next class and the upper limit of the first class are different. 14 and 15, they are different. So this is known as inclusive type. Inclusive. And in exclusive type, both are same. Look at this. Both are same over here. So, where the upper and the lower limits are also the part of the class interval. Suppose if I get 14 number, this 14 number I will arrange it in this class, not in this 15. 19 number, I will arrange it in this class. Okay. Remaining are easy for you. Right. So, this is known as inclusive type. Got it everyone? Clear? Move on. Everyone download Adart 24-7 app on your mobile. In this app, you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes, ebooks, tests. Download it immediately. And don't just download because we are having many apps in our mobile. Right? I always tell you. We are having so many apps. How many apps do you have in your mobile? Everyone. Do you even know the number? How many apps do you have? And how many of them you use it? Hardly 3, 4, 5. Not more than 5 apps anyone uses in the mobile. So, this shouldn't be the next app. Just download it and kept. Start using it. Because it is for your benefit. You see? You will be getting many features over here in this app. Free tests are available. Free these questions are available. Okay? Ebooks are available. Some free videos are available. So, you can definitely check that. Okay? And also join the paid classes in this. In the app only, you join the paid classes, you are getting 1% extra. I'll tell you. So, following table gives the distribution of 100 families according to the expenditures. Find a modal class, modal. We want a mode over here. So, this is the expenditure 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30 and so on. And this is number of families. So, which is the frequency over here? Tell me, which is the frequency? Number of families means how many families are having the income between 0 to 14. So, this becomes the frequency. Always you must be able to identify the frequency first. If you understand F, then it becomes easier. This is called as F, frequency. So, always it, it depends on frequency, which is the mode or which is the median or whatever it is. Okay, Mainly mode. So, mode means what? Which is having maximum number of times which is occurring. So, who is occurring maximum number of times? 27. So, which is the modal class? This is my modal class. Right? So, this is my modal class. Got it? Simple. Modal class, remember, it's always the maximum number of times which is occurring. Okay? 
and this other part is known as x we always call this as x this is a class we find a class mark out of this so it will be 5 over here central number here it will be 15 right and this this be treated as x then we find out fx and various formula are there fx upon f all these mean mode median we find out okay got it clear simple move on the runs scored by a batsman in five ODIs are 31, 97, 112, 63, and 19, uh, and 12. Find the mean, median, and mode. Hmm. So what is this? Mean, median, and mode. So first, let's find out mean. What is mean? Mean means what? Addition. Do the addition, everyone. 31 plus 97 plus 112 plus 63 plus 12 add all them what is the answer what is the answer you are you are getting guys let me also try first i want the answer in the comment section from you what is the answer you are getting 31 plus 97 plus 112 plus 63 plus 12 so the answer you get is how many how many how many yes comment section everyone 315 correct so mean is what 315 divided by number of elements how many elements are there 5 so 315 upon 5 so it is 63 this is my mean this is my mean now mode mode means what which is coming maximum number of times who is coming maximum number of times 31, 97, 112, 63, and 12. None of them is repeated. If any would have been repeated, let's say there would have been 31, 31, two times, then that would have been the mode, who is coming maximum number of times. But here, none of them is repeated. So, which is the mode then? All are modes. All are modes. Whenever the numbers are not repeated, everyone is a mode then. Again? Okay? Now median, how to find out the median? What did I say about the median? First arrange, arrange from the lowest to the highest. So arrange them. First is 31, lowest is what? No, not 31. Lowest is 12, 12, then 31, then after that 63, after that 97, and last one is 112, right? So arrange, whatever is arranged, find a central number. Which is the central number? 63. So 63 is my mode. They yeah, are sorry. 63 is my median. So median equals to 63. Got it, everyone? So what did how to find out the median? Arrange them in the central order, uh, uh, serial order. Now you'll ask me, sir, this is odd. That's why it's easy. Suppose if there would have been only four numbers then 12, 31, 63, and 97. If these numbers were there, only these numbers, then what? In that case, what do you do? Arrange the same logic. Arrange them in the serial order and take the central numbers, two numbers centrally. Which are these two? These are the two central numbers. Find the average of these. Mean of these. Mean. So 31 plus 63 upon 2. Give me the answer, everyone. 31 plus 63 upon 2. 31 plus 63 this upon 2. So it is 47. So then the median would have been 47 in that case. If there were four numbers. Got it? If it's an odd number, means odd, uh, odd numbers I'm having, then the things are simple. Central number is very easy to find out. If it is even number, then I have to find out the central average of the Hi friends, welcome to Adda 24-7. We are in the scholar series for APM and here we are covering all the important theory, numericals, objective questions, case studies. So follow the series till the end. Okay. Let's start. First, important theory we will be covering because these definitions are also equally important and you need to understand the concept. After that we will be covering the numericals. Okay. So if the frequency, 
first uh, first topic is frequency if the value of the variable example discrete or continuous what is discrete what is continuous here every word we'll discuss first and then we'll go ahead so if the value of the variable whether it's discrete or continuous discrete means what separable separable means what one two three separable each can be separated continuous means what suppose like this zero to five 5 to 10 these are all continuous variables so which are which occur in a in a uh, you can say a gap or you can say a fixed uh, interval okay so if the value of the variable discrete or continuous example height weight income occurs twice or more in a given series of ob observations okay twice or more in a given series of observations then the number of occurrences of the value is termed as frequency so this is an important definition from exam point of view. In exam, this word twice or more will be important for you. Okay. So anything which appears twice or more will be called as only will be called as frequency. In exam, sometimes you get the numericals also. In that numerical, the frequency is one, one upon ten. So that is the frequency. So that in numerical you can write it one. But remember. From the definition point of view, occurs twice or more is known as a frequency. The way of representing a data in form of table consisting of values of a variable with the corresponding frequencies is called as frequency distribution. What is distribution? The way of representing the, representing the data in form of table. Okay. In form of table means here. Suppose if I take this only 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15, and so on. So when I make the table out of this, okay, this is known as my class and this is known as my frequency. Okay, now I'll explain you. Suppose if I'm having these numbers, 1, 2, 3, then uh, let's say 3 again, then 3 again, then 4, okay, and I start writing these classes now, 0 to 5, okay, 0 to 5. So let's me let me make it like this. Zero to five means uh, everything will be over here only. So let me make it zero to two. Let me make it smaller classes. Okay, zero to two, two to four, two to four, and then go on four to six, so on. Okay. So zero to two, how many will be there? Zero to two, how many are there from zero to two? Now remember, zero to two means what? Will two be considered in this? No. 2 will be in the next class. Always 2 means 0 to 2 means less than 2. Okay. So here the frequency is 1 only. 2 to 4. 2 to 4. Now look at this. Starting from 2 over here, then 3, 3, 3, and now 4 will be there. No. 4 will be in the next class. So this is 4 times. So this becomes 0 to 4 is 4. So this is known as a frequency. And this table is known as frequency distribution table in which I arrange it in proper manner. So, representing the frequency in form of a table so that it is easily understood. Okay, so that is frequency dis distribution table. Class boundaries. So, there, now there are two types of class boundaries. Remember, what is a class boundary? I will give you a simple example. Now, just now we saw the classes means what? 0 to 5, 5 to 10. Now, it can be two types. What are the two types? Let's say I divide it like this. How? Oh, mm, let me think. Let Let's keep it simple. Ah, ten to yeah, ten to fourteen, fifteen to nineteen, twenty to twenty-four. Look at this. Both are inclusive over here. Okay, ten is also included. Fourteen is also included. So suppose if I get ten. Suppose if I get 10, where will I place this 10 over here in this group? Suppose if I get 14, where will I place this over in this group? Suppose if I get 17, I'll place it in this group. I get 19, I'll place it in this group, second group, okay? I get 24, I'll place it in this third group. So this group where the upper and the lower boundary is included is known as inclusive group. Inclusive, okay? Got it? Inclusive means where the upper and the lower boundary is uh, limit, you can call it maximum, minimum. Those are included is known as inclusive. And what is exclusive then? Now if I have to convert this, here, in, 
inclusive classes can be converted to exclusive classes. So it has to be it's by solving any numerical inclusive class has to be converted to exclusive class. What do you mean by this? See this. It's like this. This 10, what will I do? I'll take 0.5 on the other side, earlier side. And 14, I'll take 0.5 on the other uh, uh, later side. Okay. So it'll be what? 9.5. And here, 14.5. Now the second part. 15, I'll take 0.5 on the other side. So it is 14.5 and 19.5. This nine now twenty I'll take it nineteen point five and then twenty four point five and so on. I'll go on and on and on. So what does it mean? See, this is known as exclusive. Exclusive. This earlier one was inclusive. Now what do you mean by this? It means that see this boundary over here, it won't be included. Now understand, it's not compulsory that both the boundaries are not included. For example, in this. Suppose if I get 14.5 as a number, 14.5, so that 14.5 will not be included in this, but it will be included in this. So exclusive doesn't mean both the boundaries are excluded. It can be either one boundary or both the boundaries or the upper boundary or the lower boundary. Anything is called as exclusive. So in this case, generally what we follow in your CIV is, we follow that any number okay which is uh, on the boundary will always be included in the next class means 14.5 i'll be including it over here 19.5 i'll be including it over here okay so that is the meaning of exclusive and inclusive while solving any numerical this is the important discrimination this is the important class we never use inclusive class while solving the numericals never ever we always use exclusive even if you have inclusive class, you have to convert it to exclusive. You have to convert it, remember, okay? And the new class intervals is called as class boundary, okay? Now, this is remaining thing is simple. The same thing I have explained you, okay? Let's move on. You can read this if you want, okay? Everyone subscribe to Officers Under 24-7 YouTube channel. In this channel, you will be getting the latest updates plus uh, this from IIBF plus free YouTube series, okay? That's why. Subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon immediately. Okay, free YouTube series. Right now you are watching the same. So you'll be getting the same in the channel. Now, how to join this? See, there are two, three ways. One is you can join our Telegram channel. See this class, scan this blue code. Just expand this and scan this blue code. Okay, similarly, this uh, black code, QR code. Scan it to get your YouTube channel. Similarly, this Insta. Insta, you can just scan it and you'll get it on the Insta. Why Why joining this all these channels? Why should you join? Because we share, remember, two, three things. Okay? Two, three important things we share over here. What are those? See, remember, we share, importantly, the free YouTube series. Okay? Secondly, free questions. You get it over here. Free questions. Questions, test. You get it over here. Okay? So, that's why you should join this immediately. The type of cumulative frequency where the frequencies are added starting from the highest class to the lowest class is called as highest to lowest. Now what do you mean by this? Suppose if these are the classes, let me explain you. Suppose if the classes are, let me make it simple, okay? 0 to 5, class, class means what? Upper limit, lower limit, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and so on, okay? Okay, let's take 3 classes, 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15. Now, suppose if I arrange them in this way, what, 10 to 15, then below I go 5 to 10, then below I go 0 to 5. In that case, if I go in this way, it is called as what? This is the question. The type of cumulative frequency where the frequencies are added starting from the highest class to the lowest class is known as what? Relative frequency, percentage frequency, less than cumulative and greater than cumulative. What is it called as? Type in the comment section. <coughs> Everyone, let me see. Type it in the comment section. Hmm? Name itself. Naam hi kafi hai. What is the name? Where is it starting from? It is starting from the highest one. So that's why. Greater than, isn't it? Naam hi kafi hai. That's what. If you are arranging it in this way, 
see this is greater than i'll write it over here gt i'll just write it okay greater than and if i arrange it like this 0 to 5 5 to 10 10 to 15 okay then what do i get i get less than lt okay this less than okay got it clear next one the following table gives less than type frequency distribution of income per day what is the income uh, which income is a mode so i want a mode now so look at this this is known as a class class and this is known as the frequency frequency so which one is this frequency which is the maximum frequency mode means what any class which is having the maximum frequency so which is the maximum frequency over here 100 so the modal class is this 1500 simple isn't it in exam such numericals if you get it is just a cakewalk for you okay the data of uh, some workers is given 2300 all these things numbers are given if the desired, no, desired number of class intervals is 10 what is the class width now this you might have done earlier i might have taken it earlier also see here it's very simple uh, firstly let me see how many of you can, are answering this so suppose if it is like this see uh, width equals to width equals to range divided by number number means this number of class uh, how many intervals are required what is range range equals to highest minus lowest h minus l what is the highest one now over here tell me highest which number is highest 23 24 25 21 2000 2, 2, blah 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 this 3000 so 3000 minus which is the lowest 2000 so it is 1000 right 1000 so what is my width then width equals to 1000 upon number what is the number 10 so my class width will be 100 so this is my answer okay everyone download adult 24 7 app on your mobile in this app you will be getting the premium study material plus live classes ebooks tests whatever we require for clearing jib and cib we get it over here immediately download and start studying not just not just download okay start studying okay the class where the upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval is called as have we done this no i was explaining you at that time yeah so this is the same question which we have done it upper and the lower limits are also in the class interval so it, they are in the class interval so it is called as exclusive inclusive discrete continuous which is this upper and the lower are also in the class interval just now i told you right that what 10 to 14 15 to 19 right so upper and lower i told you if i get 14 it will be in this class right so this is known as inclusive right and then we have to convert this to exclusive i have shown you earlier so we won't be repeating it now okay the following table gives the distribution of 100 families according to the expenditure. Find the modal class. Simple. Let me see who can give me the fastest answer. Modal class. Modal means what? What we Just now we did modal. What was mode? Modal means that class which is having the highest frequency. So which is having the highest frequency? Number of families. This is F. Remember, class is always this. Class. Or you call it X also. X or uh, yeah, class only. Call it X. Class. Because for this class, we have a class mark. That's a separate part. We'll do this someday else. So, which is the modal class over here? Highest frequency, 27. So, which is the modal class? This. Now, if you find, want to find the mode of this, there is a separate formula. That's a big formula. Okay. So, that's why I would suggest you to join the paid classes over here. Okay. The run scored by the batchman for 5 ODIs are this, this, this. Find the mean, median, and mode. Okay, simple one. Let's do it. Mean. Okay, what is the mean? Mean means average. Okay, mean is always average. Average. So, what is the average? Total then. 31 plus 97 plus 112 plus 63 plus 12. Okay, 31 plus 97. Now, do it. By the time I write it, you do it, everyone. 112 plus 63 plus 12. Okay, so what is the answer? this total the whole upon the whole upon number of elements five so this will be my mean whatever that answer is okay everyone do it let me see who is getting the answer over here 
Yeah. Who's getting it? Everyone, uh, do it fast. See, uh, exams are near, so you need to do it fast. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. So what is it? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thirty-one plus ninety-seven plus one one two plus sixty-three plus twelve. Right. So total is three one five. Three one five. Three one five divided by five. So it is what sixty three. Sixty three is my mean. Right? Mean is sixty three. Median. What about the median then? Median means always arrange them in the serial order. Means what? From the lowest to highest. We'll arrange them in ascending order. Twelve. Then what is the next one? After twelve, the blah 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 thirty one. 31 after 31 63 after 63 97 after 97 112 okay so which is the median the central one this is my median okay mode mode means which occurs maximum number of times who's occurring maximum number of times none of them is repeated so all are modes all so that was the yt series for you now before i leaving i would suggest everyone to join the batches here for CIB the aim batch is started. All the numericals, objective questions, case studies are covered. Join immediately. Let me show you how to join it. Here. Go to a dot 24-7. I'll always suggest you to go through the app. In the app you get 1% extra. Go to JIB and CIB. Click on CIB June 24. Okay. Click on this aim batch. Look at this English medium aim batch. Click on this. You will see ebooks, test series, online live classes, counseling, live and recorded classes, doubt solving, experienced faculties. Everything you are getting. If you click on the ebooks, you get subject wise ebooks and chapter wise ebooks. Test series. There are chapter wise test series. Okay. And how to buy this? Click on buy now. Put the code Y432. Never forget this code Y432. Click on apply. Now you will see the maximum discounts over here using this code Y432. Okay. Click on continue and then purchase it. You can join the similar uh, in similar way. You can join the Mahapag as well. In Mahapag, you get multiple batches per subject, roughly 15 plus batches. Plus you get ebooks, test series, everything.